Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So Aquarius, let's see how you're coming in in terms of love. Let's see how you, a particular person that you're coming to the reading for, how they feel about you. All right, so let's see. One card, um, the Four of Swords. So they feel like maybe it's a temporary separation between the two of you right now. Um, they, they also understand, look, you know, right now it's a real fragile time. It's kind of like, it's testy, you know, it's make it or break it. it, it the both of you could be thinking about the future here. What does the future look like? You could be dealing with a Libra. And the Four of Swords, of course, it's a time apart, a vacation apart from each other, if you will. Uh, it is also planning for the future. It could also be suspicion of infidelity. Like maybe somebody is um, suspicious about maybe you having someone else or vice versa. This is you and how you feel about your person. Um, this is also like do or die. It's like what we do now will either keep this relationship together or it's it's going to die. So um, that's how somebody feels, whomever you're coming to the reading for. Let's see how you feel, Aquarius. How does the Aquarius feel about love or a particular person? How does the Aquarius feel? The nine of pentacles. <laughs> Whoa, Aquarius. So you just feel like, okay. Um, I'm abundant. I'm single. I'm, I am by myself. Yes, I am a good catch. Um, yes, I could have a love relationship, but I don't want it to be exactly intimate for whatever reason. Like, I don't want people in my heart space, in my home. Maybe you might not even be hosting people in your home. You just don't want people close. You don't want the vulnerability, the closeness, the intimacy that comes along with the relationship here. You may be focused on your business or the business of you. Um, you'll be focused on your career. You're not really focused on love too much here. Um, maybe that's why there is separation between you and someone else. You also may have very singular plans with the nine of pentacles coming out. You have everything that you, that you need and you're not sure if love is one of the things you need right now. All right. Let's see what the advice is for you for love. What's the advice for Aquarius in terms of this love relationship? Well, the nine of swords. Okay, so definitely we've got a lot of uh, being at the end or at the brink of the end or at the, the very beginning of the ending. The nine of swords, uh, the advice here, either you or the, another person isn't over something over some event that happened, over some conversation that was had, over a fight, a breakup. Somebody is in the dark night of the soul in terms of trying to get out of that energy. Could be you, could be the other person. Could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, Virgo. It could be anyone here. But what it says is that with the advice here is that somebody's not over something. Uh, the thoughts, the emotions, it, it attacks this person when they try to get away from this, when they try to stop thinking about it, they are plagued with whatever happened. I don't know what happened between the two of you, but um, somebody's not over it. Uh, they don't think very, very nicely or fondly of the relationship. Maybe you don't, the other person doesn't. Again, with the Nine of Swords, it says that, you know, it's not the ending like in the Ten of Swords, but it is definitely, are we at the beginning of the end? Yeah. Um, I'm going to get one more call. What is the Nine of Swords? What is the Nine of Swords? The Knight of Pentacles. Uh somebody is thinking very negatively about this relationship and maybe starting it back up. They could already be dooming the relationship from inception. They like, they already say like, this is not going to work. It, we're going to get back to the same place. And maybe that's why they're in like the, the dark night of the soul, the nine of swords energy, because there's somebody here who is taking their time to maybe 
settle on you or settle back with you or vice versa. This is you. Um, because somebody is saying, oh, it's just not going to work. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. They're already pessimistic about the outcome here. Um, someone is also taking their time because they want to make sure of um, before they actually invest or reinvest. What's the outcome here for Aquarius in terms of love? What's the outcome? What's the out? Okay. Uh, the Eight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So somebody has emotionally checked out here. This is like somebody's self-analysis here. This is somebody walking away. And this is like, I don't know, Aquarius, you might choose to walk away because somebody's keeping something up in the air. Things haven't changed within this dynamic, within this relationship. The Eight of Cups also talks about, it's a tough emotional decision, but it's one that you make out of, you know, um, self-respect. You know, you, you can't continuously keep giving emotionally to something or someone who is not giving back. It is not reciprocated. You're not getting to a place of happiness, like in the Ten of Cups. Um, therefore, you might have to analyze this and walk away. Finish up something and walk away. I don't know what you're finishing up. This could also just be, um, you know, maybe saying what you, stating your piece, saying what you need to say, and then walking away. Because somebody's keeping something up in the air with the two of pentacles here. Not really ever making a decision. Just continuously juggling this. Like, are we together or are we not? Are we, do you like me or do you not? Are we doing this or are we not? You know, it, it's, it's constant. Um, it's, it's a juggling situation. And somebody's keeping it up in the air for whatever reason. Um, because they're afraid to invest or keep here reinvest. Someone's uh, afraid to invest or reinvest here. Not exactly sure. So somebody may just choose to walk away. It just it just makes sense to walk away, to stay here. You know, it's, it might be too hurtful. All right, so let's see how Aquarius is feeling about money. All right, how's Aquarius feeling about their money situation? How is Aquarius feeling? The Seven of Cups. All right, so... You may have some options, uh, some wishful thinking too. You're dreaming or daydreaming about what you're going to do when you get a certain amount of money or when you get a certain amount of whatever it is you need to do. Um, or yeah, when you get a certain amount of money, you're going to do this or do that. A lot of wishful thinking, procrastination, overindulgence. Also, you might need to kind of scale back. It also says, um, look over investments before you part with your money. Before you get put your money into something. Um, yeah. So you may be coming into this with. You've got some discretionary money. Maybe you're spending. What is the seven of cups here? Also there's some. some uh, daydreaming about what you're going to do. Once you get a payout or. Uh, or something. Let's see. What is this? What is this? Okay. Let's see. The Eight of Pentacles, crossing the Seven of Cups here. Um, so you're doing something over and over again. You're really trying to, this is like the budding entrepreneur. This is somebody who is doing some work for themselves. They're trying to get their business to a self-sustaining energy where they're not just work, work, work. Because this is a work, rinse, repeat. This is doing something over and over again. This is being prudent about your work. This is also being prudent about your money. It says uh, with the seven of cups crossing the eight of pentacles, you're going to have to be prudent with your money and watch where you put your money or watch where it's going. You know, just because you have you have it doesn't mean you need to spend it is what I'm seeing. You might need to work on your finances or yourself or you might need the money to maybe invest in yourself. Um, all right, so let's see. What's the advice for Aquarius in terms of their finances? What's the advice for Aquarius in terms of their finances? Okay. So you got some contract coming in here. They just wanted to show his hand. This also could be a contract, a, a change of profession to a change of, um, yeah, career, your profession. 
a contract coming in. It's a significant life altering shift, choice, contract. So that's very good. Um, can we clarify the lovers here? Some of you may get the opportunity to start to work on or work in doing things that you, you love to do, that there's a, a real zest for life. Yeah, the king of wands. So yeah, some of you might get some entrepreneurial endeavor. This is unexpected money, a contract coming in also, completion of. Um, if you're self-employed, definitely expect things to get better with the king of wands here. He is unexpected money, unexpected income. Uh, he is luck. So there could be luck associated with maybe having your own business, changing your profession. What is the outcome here for the Aquarius in terms of their career and finance? What's the outcome? The seven of pentacles, very nice harvest. Finish what you start Aquarius. Um, do understand that you will have a harvest. You will see your harvest. The things that you've done in the past, they will pay off. You will see a payout come to you. Um, you'll be able to reap what you've sown. So hopefully you've sown and invested well. Yeah, justice at the bottom of the deck. Again, a payout or a payoff, paying off debts, someone paying you off or whomever it's indebted to you, paying you. Um, balancing out, things balancing out, cause and effect. Uh, the things, again, karma, what you have done. Um, what you have done, it will come back to you. What you have sown, it will come back to you. If you have put out good seeds, it will, th those will return to you. Th your finances are going to balance out also because there's going to be a payout. Yeah. Something you have been waiting for and fighting for. Fighting to get what you, uh, you want. Fighting, fighting to maintain also. This looks really good, Aquarius, in terms of um, persevering and seeing something through. Let's leave you with an Amira Oracle, and then we'll close this out. Some of you could be, you know, lawsuit. There could be a payout in terms of a lawsuit that wanted to come out. The Ice Queen, you have learned so many lessons, Aquarius. Um, you have so much life experience. Um, it's guiding you, it's helping you, okay? There is some courting man here. I don't, he could wanna date you exclusively. Yeah, this person could wanna date you exclusively. Yeah, exclusively. This could be a new love too, true love, maybe even a soulmate, uh, an older man. Could be going bald, graying, maturing. It's fun times with this person. Um, do know that maybe um, things are going to be repaid to you with the justice card. If you have legal matters or you're in with you're involved in legal matters, it looks like things will go in your favor. Things will balance out for you. Finish what you start. Do know that the harvest is here. If you are thinking about a change, a shift in profession. The cards uh, the cards are kind of uh, saying that's a good route to go. Watch where you're putting your money. Watch where, you, where you're spending or what you're spending on. Um, in love, somebody's just not in the best energy in terms of deciding on the relationship or deciding on you or vice versa. You're not deciding on them. This is what I have for you, Aquarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section. Go over to, to the website, book there, ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the Buy Ella Coffee link. Catch me every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, Sunday, today. And um, also, you can learn the Tarot with me. Tarot classes are linked below. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.